day everyone for our today setup and installation session we are going to be having zk teco uh, pa10 multi-biometric time attendance analysis control device as our standalone device and this is a unique device because it's multi-biometric by multi-biometric we mean it can do multiple verification by biometric using your fingerprint and using your palm biometric as a means of verification and also you can use your uh, your card also as a means of verification and password too. And another unique feature of this device is that it's a PoE enabled device. By PoE we mean that this device can be powered by internet. By powered by internet we simply mean that it can be powered using a PoE enabled switch. And what we're using for this setup is our 24 port a PoE switch that you can see at this uh, side uh, on, on, on the table here. And that's what we're going to use to power this device. So, with that being said, we for this setup and installation, we also have our electric lock. Depending on what you're using, whether you're using a mag lock or a strike boat, it's still the same connection, right? And of course, we have the 12 volt adapter that we're going to use to power this lock. And of course, our 24 port PoE switch that we're going to use to power this PoE enabled device, a unique device for those who want to power their device over internet. This is a unique cell for those who are asking for a PoE uh, device. So that being said, let's dive right into the session. So the first thing we need to do is to identify the positive point from our 12 volt adapter. So for me, I've identified that already. And once we've identified that 12 volts, uh, the positive of our 12 volt adapter, we connect the positive from our 12 volts, our power adapter, to the positive of our lock. Why the negative of our 12 volt adapter will go into our NC communication in our device. So, have we gotten that? The positive from our lock, our 12 volt rather, goes into the positive of the lock, while the negative of our 12 uh, volt adapter goes into the NC. Now, we will now connect the hanging part to the com, which is the what we've already done here, the communication uh, has been done. So positive from our lock to positive of the positive of, of our 12 volts, positive for our lock, and the negative of our 12 volt to the NC, why the free wire that we will not see will not go into our communication port. That's what we've done here. So that being done, we have this connector that we've used to done to, to run the connection before now. So if you can look at it. This is what your connection is going to look like. Positive to positive, negative to your NC. Then this positive coming from negative from the uh, 12 volts that is connected to positive here will now go into your COM port of your PA10 device. So we've done that connection already and we're going to plug our connector here. So you see, once the connection is done, the lock is energized, meaning it's, the connection is right. But once the connection is not right, of course, your lock will not be energized, showing that perhaps there is a mistake somewhere. So you need to be sure of your connection. We're going to try and put the connection diagram uh, somewhere along this, vi this video as an image so you can, can assist you. So that being done, let's quickly get this running. Now, like I mentioned, it's a PoE device, so our power is coming from our 24 port switch. So now, we plug this in. So once we get this plugged in, this should get our device up and running. Okay. So device is up. As you can see, this is an indicate, uh, indication that the device is put in. Okay, so of course we don't have communication, our connection done properly, hence why the lock is energized. So now the device is up. And once the communication is done right, it's better to note that I've previously configured my details on this device for verification. And for the sake of this, we're going to swipe our card for verification and see what happens. Do you notice that? The minute to strike our card, the lock is de-energized. 
the time period has expired and the lock is energized back. So now we're going to do that again. You see that? So once your connection is done right, this is a simple standalone access control uh, using the PA10 and using a PoE enabled device like the PA10. And it's important to note that for those who are interested in using this same device for a master slave, so you've had this device and you want to connect another Wigram device for exit or an exit button too, you can also do that. At the back of this device, there's a port where you can connect a Wigram device to this device as a slave device. So this becomes your master. Your Wigram reader becomes the slave that you can use your card. Alternatively, you can connect an exit button. There's a relay port where you connect an exit button for easy exit and access for those who are going out of the building. So this is a quick session that of on how to set up a standalone access control using Zekitec cool PoE enabled device, PA10, a multi-biometric device. And with this session, I believe you've been able to see how quick and how easy it is to set up a standalone access control with a unique PoE enabled device, Zekitec cool PA10 that we're using for this session. So thank you very much for uh, tuning into this channel. We hope you stay tuned for more creative content on how to set up and install Zekiteco devices and solutions. See you next session.